I can now dictate to my opponent whether I want him to receive the ball to me with his backhand or his forehand. How he receives it, that's entirely up to him or her. I really have no role to play and I'm not really bothered about it. As long as I've elected to serve, how to serve, where to serve from, achieve what I want, I am now deciding how he wants that ball to be played. In the main, not always accurate, depends on the level that you're playing at. But if you serve to the backhand side of the player, and it's a drivable ball or a good pushable ball, the chances are the ball will be played on a diagonal back to the server. We'll watch it, we'll have a look at it. So that serve goes in, that ball now comes down, back down my backhand side. So if I want that ball to come down my backhand side, I will deliberately serve wider of the opponent to make him play with his backhand. There are reasons for that. When we get round to the second part, which is more technical input into what we're trying to achieve, that will become more apparent. But that there is giving my opponent an opportunity to go for length on the table and he will use a diagonal. If I want the ball to come back down my forehand side, I will then change where I deliver the ball to. I will serve the ball, I will bring the bat round and force my opponent to play with his forearm return. And as we said, there we go, the ball comes back on the diagonal, which is leading me in with my third ball attack, which is I want. So I'm going to serve the ball down his forehand side, and off I go and attack the third ball. We don't want to be serving wide. We have to bring the gap very, very narrow, because it's pointless, giving the opponent very little to think about. The body, the body of opponent is the width of the serve that you should be looking to serve to. So if I want the ball to be played by his backhand, I'll be delivering the ball to his non-playing shoulder. And there he goes, he plays the ball with his backhand. If I want him to play the ball with his forehand, I'll deliver it to the other side. And there he goes, and he plays with his forehand. The beauty about that second part, getting to play the return, which is in the middle of the table, near the end of the table, with his forehand, his wrist will break open. And with his wrist breaking open, we now get a little bit technical, but it is, it's important to put, I think, to put it in at this stage. If I can get the opponent standing in his ready position, receiving the ball in the middle of the table with an open played forehand, with, an op with the wrist on the open of his forehand, the chances are he's not going to be able to beat me down my backhand side with power or spin, because his wrist is open. The only way he can get power and spin on that routine of serve, receive of serve with his wrist open, is come down, is snap his wrist over the ball, using his arm and his wrist, and it will come down my forehand side. So when I'm serving that point, in my mind, I know that I should not be beat down my backhand wing, but I'm really subconsciously concentrating on watching him put the ball down my forehand side, because that's where I think it's going to go. And if I can get it there, I am ready for it. I am not bothered how fast it comes in. I'm not bothered what he does to it. I am ready mentally to play the ball from my forehand side. That's why I delivered the ball to that part of the table. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna demonstrate what I've just said there. I'm gonna serve a back, backhand serve with backspin ball. I'm gonna serve it from slightly inside the backhand line. And I'm gonna serve it right on to the shoulder of the non-playing shoulder of my opponent. And I am now gonna get the opponent to move his bat slightly across his body before he plays his ball to me. And you will see what happens with his bat position. Are you ready, opponent? There it goes. Right, he decides to play a forehand return. I'm not bothered what he returns, but to get that forehand return, he had to move his body way left quickly to get in position to be able to play that stroke. Do that again, forearm return, please, from that position. There it goes. I have delivered it where I wanted to. It's going on his left shoulder. He's adopted to make that tactic. And I will be quite happy to accept that tactic. This time we're going to ask him to do something different. We're going to ask him to hold his position and we're going to play a backhand return to the same serve. And let's see what happens to his bat now. Now then, we've achieved a very, very good tactic there. The ball didn't go off the table. He's hit the table with his bat. He's now frowning. He's probably cost him £40 for a new piece of rubber and he ain't coming again. So watch again. There it goes. But the bat doesn't go over to the ball. It actually comes slightly on to the ball. This time, I'm going to give him a freebie. Easy, absolutely easy return from my opponent because he's going straight onto the ball with his bat and it's easy for him to play. So let's one more time do it again. I'm trying to get this bat to come slightly across him before he comes forward to me.
There it goes. That's perfect. Right, that one's open. No problem. That one's closed. He's got him, we've got him to come across before he plays this role. He's going to play a four and return to this ball now. There he goes. We've now got him to shift and we've now left it completely open. Now, now do again, go to my forearm with the same shot. And there again, I got him. I achieved my objective. <laughs>